Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Today, we commemorate the passion of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord that like St. John the Baptist, we may carry out our mission with courage. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with the demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. How I love your law, O Lord. It is my meditation all the day. Lord, I love your commands. Your command has made me wiser than my enemies for it is ever with me. Lord, I love your commands. I have more understanding than all my teachers when your decrees are my meditation. Lord, I love your commands. I have more discernment than the elders because I observe their precepts. Lord, I love your commands. From every evil way, I withhold my feet that I may keep your words. Lord, I love your commands. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, I love your commands. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed 
a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you asked of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once, on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guest, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us first of all thank the Lord for gathering us in this beautiful Monday morning as we continue to praise and worship our loving God. The great philosopher Plato once said, No one is more hated than he who speaks the truth. No one is more hated than he who speaks the truth. The church celebrates today the passion of St. John the Baptist as a feast. It is not about the morbid delight of getting oneself killed. It is about the martyrdom of John who gave witness to the truth. The liturgy today commemorates the martyrdom of St. John the Baptist, a great prophet who was hated, persecuted, and died in defense of the truth. My dear brothers and sisters, the question now is what enabled John the Baptist to embrace martyrdom? Maybe it's good to ask, what is martyrdom? Martyrdom, or being a martyr, originally means to witness, magpatotoo, at magsaksi. Tayo po, kuminsan, kapag mahal natin, or kilalang kilala natin ng tao, handa tayong magsaksi at magpatotoo sa Kanya. Hindi po ba? 
Kaya naniniwala ko, one can only be martyr if first and foremost, one knows whom one is to give witness to. Magiging martyr lang po tayo at makapagpapatotoo kapag kilala natin at mahal natin ang taong ating patotohanan. A martyr always gives witness to the truth of God. Knowing the truth of God is only possible if one loves God. And the question we posed would answer this. John the Baptist never failed to know and recognize the Lord even when he was still in the womb of her mother Elizabeth. He lived and praised Jesus when Mary visited Elizabeth. His deep knowledge about the Lord moved him to love the Lord so deeply. Hence, even if the entire world and the strongest people of his time, the Herodians, the military men, the courtiers, and the leading men of Galilee saw no error in what Herod Antipas did and said to them during his birthday, John the Baptist never faltered and continued to speak the words of God. Amidst the most powerful people, his only source of defense was the truth revealed to him by Jesus and his love for him. John the Baptist is teaching us here, my dear brothers and sisters, that if we have a deep knowledge and unwavering love for the Lord, we can never be overwhelmed the errors prevailing in this world. Knowledge of the truth of God and a burning love for Him would even make us surpass any hatred and suffering. Our love and knowledge of God would even make us conquer death. Knowledge and love of God enable John to embrace martyrdom. My dear brothers and sisters, one way or the other, we are like Herod, Herodias, and Salome the Temper. We also may encounter them in our everyday life, whether it is us or other people, let us not lose hope as long as we let our minds be enlightened by the truth of Christ and our hearts be consumed by His love, we can still rewrite the stories of our life from violence and unfaithfulness to serenity and sanctity. Martyrdom, which means witnessing 
is also being lived out when we direct our lives towards holiness founded on the truth and love of God. Please all stand. Many have witnessed to their faith by their lives, aware of our mission in the world to be prophets. Let us pray to our loving Father to make us faithful to our vocation. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. That the church may fulfill with courage her prophetic mission of proclaiming the gospel without fear or compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. That government servants may have consciences based upon the bedrock of personal integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. That our community may stand up and speak out for justice and human dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. That the trials of life may not discourage us, but that our faith may grow through them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. That the preaching and example of St. John may inspire those who live in the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your strength be upon us, Lord. Almighty God, you bless us with the preaching and example of St. John. May we offer our lives to your service through our preaching and life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through these sufferings which we bring, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths as taught by that voice crying in the desert. St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory. For you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leaped for joy at the coming of human salvation. 
He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, He baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear Him supreme witness by shedding of His blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please only. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happier we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more, we rejoice at its clear effects in us. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Na na